in chili con carne. Everybody has their favorite recipe of chili. This is our favorite, and I think it's going to end up being your favorite as well. Our family's tradition is to have this venison chili con carne the very first day of hunting season, and it is a winner every year. First thing I'm going to do is put in the bacon. Pork is always good. Who doesn't like bacon? We're going to get all of the oil out of this bacon, and then we're going to remove the bacon from the pan. That's what we use pork for, the fat. All right, the bacon has released its fat, and I am removing it with the slotted spoon. Now I'm going to put my onions in, and my jalapeno pepper. We grow lots of these in the summer, and all of our meals seem to contain them. So we're going to get that nice and translucent. Now it's time to add the garlic. I like to add the garlic about 30 seconds before I'm going to remove the onions. Because it will burn and it'll burn quickly. Okay, I'm going to remove my onion mixture. I hope my little bowl here is big enough. Okay, now I am going to start to brown my meat. Remember to start with dry meat. Make sure your pan is really hot and put only a small portion into your pan because you do not want to steam the meat, you want to brown it. Okay, I like to salt and pepper my meat at this point. And this is kind of the fun part. You get to hold it way up here and watch it go in, make a really big mess. Okay, all right, while that's browning, I'm going to take a trip over here to my tomatoes and chipotle pepper. And I'm gonna make the tomato sauce that's gonna go into the chili. This right here is what makes this chili great. That chipotle pepper, and all it is is just a smoked jalapeno. Takes about 10 seconds. I just love that, it's really fast. All right, now I am going to do another batch of meat. Hampton, my second oldest son, insists that this is the best chili recipe ever. He never tires of telling me that, and he wants me to make it like I made it the very first time. I went a little bit overboard with the chipotle chilies, and he loved it. He, he just, just can't stand it when I don't make it that way. Um, but I think it would burn everybody else's tongue off. Our meat is completed. We have caramelized it all. Some people like to say caramelized, some people like to say caramelized, but I'm from Alabama and we say caramelized. At least I do. All right, I'm gonna put my beans in and my spices. I've got cumin, chili powder, and oregano. Okay, I'm gonna let that heat up for just a second and then I'm gonna pour in my beef stock. You can make homemade beef stock or you can get it from the grocery store. I like to get the organic kind if I do that. Okay, pour that straight in. I wish you could smell this. It smells insane. Okay, something really great for this and it cuts down a little bit on the heat is the uh, brown sugar. Now it's time for the meat to go back in. That is some meaty chili. And the onions, look at that. Does that look great? I could just eat spoonfuls of this. Last, but certainly not least, we're gonna pour in our chipotle tomato sauce. Okay, we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then when it comes to a boil, you're gonna put the lid on it and then you're gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it go for an hour. Keep an eye on it and make sure that it doesn't need any extra liquid. It shouldn't, but it might. So keep an eye on it. Okay, look at this chili. It is almost ready. We have to do one magical thing, which is to put Jiffy corn mix into the pot. All right, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of the juice 
from the chili into a mixing bowl. And I'm going to put that in here, and I'm going to mix it together and then pour it back into the chili. It adds a really good earthy flavor, this corn. It just changes the texture. And it'll thicken it up just a little bit. It's a pretty thick stew anyway, but this helps thicken it up. And now I am going to give you some. Just put it right in the bowl. I better turn this heat down. I think it's ready. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of cheese and a dollop of sour cream right in the middle. Going to get you a spoon. You're ready to rock and roll.